Hello, replay viewers. I took a little walk this morning, and by luck, the goats are near the street, so you get to see them for a little bit. They're kind of quiet. There goes the car. Hi, Greg. This is the road into the, the place where I'm staying for a little while, and because the I'm told because the goats are here. Oh, oh, getting aggressive. No fighting. Hi, Karen. Because they have goats, this is a, a, a farm property, so they get a tax break. They have a little, uh, I think I scoped out, they have a little house down in the woods. Uh, uh, uh. No getting aggressive with that little baby. So they just go around munching grass. It's an easy life. That dark one seems to be charging at them. But they're so cute. So I, I can't give much commentary on goats. You just get to enjoy the view. Oh, there's one peeing. Uh, Greg, I was here 12 months ago for two nights, I think. There was, a, there was supposed to be a tremendous storm, and I said it's better to safe than than having trouble, so so 12 months ago I came in here for two nights and the tremendous storm really never amounted to anything. What did that goat say? We, we need a goat translator. And there's just, they all seem to, they, they stick together, there's just two over, two over there, but they all sleep in a, in a huddle. Good morning everybody, good morning. They sleep in a huddle and, and roam around, and I was going to do this. Uh, I was going to do this video yesterday, but they were too far away, so I decided to take a walk this morning. Can you let them? Can I let them? Let them what? The goats are on their own. I, I don't have any control over these goats. Can I let them what? Can I pet them maybe? Well, uh, if that was the question, yes, pet them. So, so right in front of me is this, and and if you look closely, there's there's that too. Um, so I think we get we get two layers of electrified fence, and and there's signs everywhere about this fence being electrified. Um, so it's a minor challenge. I have a feeling that. That to get past these two layers, I'd have to be touching the wires, and the goat would have to be putting its head where it wouldn't normally put its head. So, so I think the answer is no. Oh, the little babies. Yeah. Well, if you want a goat, I suggest you come and get one somewhere. Um, oh, look at this one. He's sniffing. This one wants to be petted so badly. Look at them. These these aren't pets, so they're not used to. I don't think they get to see humans. I mean, except in passing. Um, they have their in the way way down the distance. There's a little shed. I think they can go in there if the weather's bad. Um, the few times I've checked on them, they've just been out here in the field spending the night. No, I don't breed them. These are not my goats. These are our goats. Part of the uh, over over here is where where people keep their boats. So it's a boat and goat place. And the goats are for tax relief. But they're also cute to look at. Yeah, a goat on a boat, a goat on a boat, you'd have to have a pretty big boat for, for that to work out. Um, and then you have other issues. Uh, I, I don't think a goat on a boat too practical. But... Uh, uh, these goats, I think these goats just live here. I don't think they're being raised up. Yeah, the, uh, this, this section of, well, actually, let me think. Yeah, most of the, the upper half of South Carolina is easy, very easy going for boats. Uh, there is some current if you're in a slow boat, in a sailboat that doesn't go fast. There's some current, and you, it's better if you can time it right. Um, I try to time it right. It doesn't always work out that way. Um, sometimes I've got it wrong and oh well, 
Um, so where I was, my last stop, sometimes this is the halfway point, and sometimes I can get to the other end, and uh, in one day, sometimes I have to break it up to two days, there's a few places to, whoop, there's a little bee, <laughs> go away. There's a few places to, to anchor along the way. Um, so yeah, this is a nice, this is a nice calm section. And the other plus is the water here is fresh water and it's used, there's a few pipes that stick into the, into the water, like large, large pipes, and they suck it in for the water supply for the area. It's, it's really that good water. Of course you have to treat it, but just the fact you can do that at all is, psh, there's a bug. Is a, is a good sign. So occasionally I go past these pipes sticking down, which you normally don't see, and being in fresh water means I'm not getting any barnacles. All right, the goats have decided to go off, so I think it's my turn to go off. And here's, here's the view, starting from the, uh, the roads up there a ways. And on this side is, is cheap storage if you have a boat on a trailer or a camper or a trailer with no boat, then you can put it over in there for for little money, especially if you don't have a backyard. So that's the view. There's boats stored. There's boats in the green building stored on racks. And there's goats. So we'll see, say sayonara. The last view will be the, the goats. So everyone, have a good morning. And we'll catch you next time.